especially with the way Fnatic love uh -oh. to dogpile. Uh oh, this is going to be Lemonade. Yeah. getting caught out. First blood will come in, and it is going to be a easy execution by Fnatic. Depends how fast they can get this dragon out and whether they can secure the smite. We're going to see Cyanide sliding in there and wisely meets Cloud9. Do back off the Ash Arrow, catching onto a Stun chain. Locked up, stunned up, and now Yellowstar's in trouble as well. Pushy trying to escape. Coming around the backside is high, so he's going to keep this chasing on this one. He's gone for Yellowstar instead, but really they could have focused on Pushu and kept him focused down. Cloud9 wants this one quickly. We could see another steal attempt and maybe a fight. Cyanide ready and waiting. There's the slide. He's not quite ready. Got the again. slide comes in. Elimination's taken very low, though. Sneaky also off the side. Stand United are going to come in. Yellowstar does manage to pick up one kill. High getting focused on. High is going to go down to the back there. Push you still low, but you can see he's putting damage down on towards ball. Cyanide is going to come out of this one. Riftwalk comes up from Pekka. Pekka goes deep, but he's a little too deep. Medios will be able to take him down. No! Riftwalk's away. And would you believe it? They do still get Pekka down. Ball's taken low, so has Mayfield. Fancy this one, but it is very close. It's a three for two. Now they're keeping on the good cocoon on towards Soas. Have they got the damage to get on towards him? A shadow down from balls will be enough to finish him off. Forces him to get away. The claw of doom manages to help him escape. Such a tight fight. Is Cloud9 on top? That fight could not have been closer. Three people died for Cloud9. You see Peke coming in. Force Ball's not going to pick up that gold. He's going to have to back off from this one. He's not going to be able to get that wave. He's trying to get that Force Ball back up. They might go aggressive here. Cyanide's going to get caught out. Arrow comes through. Cats on Peke. They didn't focus targeting, though. The barrel has been used already. The Ignite is available from high. He's going to go aggressive. Is he going to have enough? No, he's not. Just down the side, though. We see Yellowstar going down. It was Sneaky that managed to pick up the kill. Now Fnatic has an edge in this Dragon fight because they have the ultimates, whereas Cloud9 used them for the turret and the one kill. Even High's ultimate is not up, but Cloud9 doesn't care. Pushu gets focused on. He has to get away. He's actually tanking up the Dragon. Soas hasn't used that ultimate yet. He's going to lock down Lemonation. Lemonation with no mana at all. But look at this. Round the backside, Pushu getting locked in, forced to flash away. We can see Meteos continue to chase on through. He may be the death of him. Yes, he will. Soas, in the meantime, he comes around. He is going to get one down. But look at that. Sneaky once again. Gets the kill this time on Peke. Soaz though comes in. He takes down high in the mid. Lemonation getting taken low. Gets dunked on by Cyanide. Yellowstar off the back. Soaz goes down. Lemonation goes down. It's a two Ooh. for two. The arrow on towards Yellowstar. He's so low on hit points. He's going to get locked up. It will be another. It's a double kill for Balls. Cyanide now. He's in trouble. He's not going to be able to escape this one, surely. The slow arrow from Sneaky does catch him down. Hawkshot's going to give his vision away. Balls nope. is ready and waiting to chase. But it's not going to be. It's a three for three. Wow. What a fight. The support coming in. It is going to be so as that joins it, and they forced the back away from that one already. But the rest of Cloud9 the never ends. They're getting close. It's going to be all for this dragon once again. Well, let's wait on the cooldowns once again. High's explosive cask is up. This time, Lemon Nation has crescendo. We look across to Fnatic. The only ultimates they're missing are Lissandra uh -oh. and Jarvis. Look out, Lemon Nation. Lemon Nation getting caught out there. Has to use the crescendo. It's not going to be enough. High getting locked up now. The dragon will go down, but that's going to be High going down in the background. They could collapse on towards Cloud9 here. You can see just off the top of the screen, you see Peke moving around. Pushu is there as well, just off the side. They're not going to collapse. Cloud9 is safe. It was a two kills for yeah. one dragon. That was absolute split decision by Cloud9, and we very rarely see absolute split decision by Cloud9, and we very rarely see that against them. That is the chaos that Fnatic creates as a team, and they're waiting in the right brush, catching ball. Ball's getting locked up, Stranglethorns comes out, he's already used that Shadow Dash, Meteor's doing what he can, but he may get locked up as well. The whole of Cloud Fnatic coming on towards him, he does get away, so is just gonna follow it through. Pushu comes in, he gets the kill. It's a 4-0-4 Corky. And that is the legendary Fnatic rotations that we talk about. Cloud9 thought they could take a shortcut to defending their middle turret, thinking Fnatic had pulled off after getting two kills and taking it at that. Oh, look at this maneuvering coming out. Cloud9 was stacking up for the top of Fnatic, who quickly rotated around. They want to shove straight for the inner turret. And Cloud9 is actually going to take part of this trade. There's a bit of indecision coming from them again. Fnatic might wait in the brush here. They're at the very least getting one turret, maybe more. Cloud9 splitting up once again. This is not a pace race they want for sure. And Fnatic, they're not done here because they still see two members backing off the top lane. They could go straight for the inhibitor turret. They will. They're going to go right for this. There is still an Ash and a Sona in the lane. They just got back to base. The turret goes down. Now Cloud9 engages. They go for Peke, and he's not really the right target because the Stranglethorns is going to bounce Meteos up. That's going to be high going down. Massive kill for Fnatic here. See, Sneaky, he's going to get dropped as well. Crescendo simply saves the life. It takes Cyanide down. But four members of Fnatic are still alive in the base, and three members of Cloud9 are already dead. Cloud9 was so indecisive in that, and Fnatic was not. They engaged before Lemon Nation and Sneaky had arrived in that fight, and the comboing of Fnatic wrecked Cloud9.
simple position in there from Fnatic. And this is just Fnatic having control of the map. Peke is actually stacking up his Rift Walk. The next time someone comes through, he's going to get a face full of cast in it. We want to get that four pulls, four pulls higher, and I think it's Lemonation that they're looking for. Peke, though, they're going to look closing on towards Medios. He's going to get locked up. He was doing so well at the start, but it seems that the Fnatic machine, where are you going to go? Is it going to be enough? Stan United is going to come out. Turn. Back away from this one. High goes aggressive on towards Soas. Has he got the damage? The explosive cast comes out. Oh, Force Pulse. He's got too deep. Peke may go himself out here. Sino slides in. Peke Rift walks away. And Cloud9 and Fnatic exchange blows, but nobody goes down. Here's the thing, though. Pushu is mainly cleanup. He's doing a whole bunch of damage, but it's more than that. It's all about Peke. Oh, this is a... They're not going to so let go. Finishing people off. High has to burn Flash away from this one. It seems like Fnatic has enough position that they just want to take out the Dragon because Cloud9 is paranoid with positioning around the Baron Pit and trying to clean up wards then. Fnatic, once again, seems to be one step ahead of Cloud9. The positioning seems... Oh, look how Sneaky. Sneaky's going to go for it. He's going to catch on towards Sneaky. He's going to get saved. No, he's not. Peke comes in, turns him out there. Can they get the turret on the way out? I'm not too sure. The explosive cask was already used. We saw it further on. And Fnatic again, just out positioning Cloud9 from Pushu. Be surprised if they stick around Medios on this one. Up really far. Just off the round. There's the Hawk shot. They realize the danger. Peke does come in. Doesn't get the slow. Medios is going to land back in there. Are they going to go for him? They do lock him down. Stan United There's has Shen. been used. Fnatic is just going to back straight out. There's going to be a good catch on towards Sinai. He's taking a lot of damage. He may go down from this one. But the rest of Cloud9 have gone a little too deep for it. Medios is going to get taken down. Pauls is the next focus target. Soaz comes in. Good crescendo from Lemonation. Blows Soaz in there. Pops that ultimate straight off though. Peke picks up one. Peke going to close towards Lemonation, he's going to be the next focus target. There it is, the Rift Walk Force Pulse, straight on towards High, going to be next. Sneaky goes down off the side, Peke's going to roam him in. There's the triple kill, and it's Fnatic cleanup duty, that's an ace. Just destroyed Cloud9 in that one. They got them into the fight because Meteos was honestly trying to pick it, and that is the way both of these teams play. Cloud9 does not let themselves get starved out, and Fnatic knows how to finish. That is surely the game now for Fnatic. Game one of the quarterfinals is the season three World Championships will go to Europe's Fnatic. They have struck first blood on North America's Cloud9. This is still a very tight battle, I feel, though, because that game went close for 25 minutes. Yeah, even though this one ended in 33 minutes, it was not because it was one-sided by...